Hey guys, how y'all doing? It is Grana. I am back. It is kitchen talk time with Grana. Hey guys, uh, sorry about last week. I had so much going on last week. You know how sometimes life can just throw you a curveball off in there? Yeah, life threw me a curveball <laughs> last week. And I was trying to deal with all that and time just got away from me. So I'm sorry about last week. I didn't get a chance to come and talk to you guys, but I did miss having conversation with y'all but yeah so um let's get caught up we're gonna go ahead and jump off into this conversation getting caught up on the love and marriage huntsville guys i know y'all already up to date on it because it's it's getting juicy it is getting juicy so let's go ahead and just just catch up on that let's see where we at oh my god i'm just sweating i should have turned the fan on okay so um the big thing right now tisha is planning um a trip for, for everyone to go to Vegas. And so she's planning this trip, but before they go on the trip, of course they go by Black and have a conversation with Jalen about the bar. And he's lost like, uh, he's lost like uh, two or three people. You know, he's lost a chef, he's lost a bartender. So he's having to do all this stuff. And um, from the outside looking in, now this is just us from the outside looking in, it seems like to me, that um, Tisha and Marcel are, you know, more concerned about their bottom line, which they should be. It's their business and nobody want to lose any money. But he's telling you, you know, I've lost the chef. I've lost the bartender. I'm having to jump in here and do this and do that. And Tisha asked him, well, did you send me out the, the, the spreadsheet or did you send me out you know, email me this this paperwork or whatever. And I'm looking at her or thinking to myself, like, come on, Tisha, this boy is doing several different jobs to keep this business going for you guys. And you're worried about him sending out this um, paperwork. And I think somewhere in between those conversations, Jalen might have got a little, little smart and was, look, you know, like, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Because later on in the, in, in the show, when they get to Vegas, that, that conversation is going to come up, okay? But uh, I still haven't been to Black. I still haven't been to the cigar bar because it seems it's more like it's, a, you know, for a, like a gentleman meeting place and stuff like that. You know, so I haven't been over there yet, but I know where it's at. I don't know. One day, maybe I'll try to go by and check it out. Okay. So on until, you know, they getting ready to go to Vegas. And between that time, now Melanie, um, go, she does her video, her telltale uh, video, you know, look, it looked really good. I haven't seen the whole video. I've seen bits and pieces of it, but Mel does her video at one of her girlfriend home. It was beautiful. The girlfriend home that she did her video. I don't even know why Mel didn't do her video at her home because her home is beautiful, but she did the video. It seemed like it came out really nice. I know it's, uh, this is all old for us. So I know it's the Telltale's, uh, the song, the single has really, you know, been really popular it's been very popular so kudos to mel um on her single she's doing really well she's moving up the charts and i know she's been doing some concerts she's been doing some shows so kudos to mel she's really doing her thing with this music and everything so let's just go ahead on and hop over here in vegas because that's where most of this conversation going to be going today okay so they get to Vegas. So um, Tisha and Martel, with well, mostly Tisha, planned this Vegas trip. So she's got a really nice place in Vegas, and everybody, you know, the whole group went, including Tiffany and her husband Louis. This is the first time they've actually been on a trip with them, you know, because this is their first season on the show. So everybody get there that night except for Destiny and uh, Melanie, because Melanie was back working on her video, and Destiny was taking care of some things. Okay. So the first night there, you know, they they had said they had first they was gonna go out to the to the casino and all that, but they decided to stay in and just chill out or whatever and get in the pool and hang out. So that's when the juicy juicy started hitting with with uh, Marcel, Tisha, and Kimmy. Maurice said a little bit, you know, but before they kicked it off, they started off with them trying to you know be salty and trying to Jones Kimmy about being a sidekick, you know. And, you know, Kimmy was like, you know, this is getting old and it's not funny. I'm not, I was never a sidekick. And, you know, who said that? So they was like, well, Martel, Martel said she was a sidekick. And then Martel, like, well, Mar, 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 Martel was like, Marcel was the one that told him that Kimmy was 
Maurice's sidekick. So that conversation went, you know, went a little bit to the left. And so Kimmy was like, it's not funny. I'm not the sidekick, you know. Every time we get together, y'all want to say that. So she was, she threw out there to Marcel, well, how does it feel to be a side daddy, to have a side baby? <laughs> I, I just cracked up when she said that, but if you look, if you paid attention and looked at Tisha's face, Tisha didn't like that. <laughs> but it was funny because I don't blame her because you know y'all trying to gain up on me, talking about I'm a sidekick. What about this side baby you got out there? So they go back and forth about that a few minutes, and then they start go move on to Jalen and 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 then uh. You know, Tisha was saying that Jalen was being smart by referring to her, saying yes, ma'am, and this and that. And they were saying that, uh, you know, Kimmy doesn't doesn't get on Jalen enough or criticize him for what he's not doing or doing. And she was like, no, that's not true. You know, I, I'm on, I stay on Jalen's butt about uh, black the cigar bar probably more than I should. I'm constantly on him about that and stuff. So they went back and forward about that. And at the end of that, then of course Kimmy. And Tisha makes up and they say they love each other and blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that was that. So that's Saturday morning, you know, they're getting ready to go and do the activity that Tisha has set up for them to do. Laughing and joking and talking and all that. And they like, where Mel at? Where Destiny at? And all this. And then Mel walks in, you know, she gets there from her, from Atlanta, uh, from Huntsville for her video shoot. She gets there, she walks in. So they started joking with her just a little bit and talking about where she was going to stay and she was going to have to share a room with Martel and this and that, or whatever. And Martel did start throwing a little shade out there right off the bat. He started being a little shady and stuff. So they go and Tisha has planned for them to go and ride slingshots, you know, those the motor things and do all that and everything. And I do believe, now I'm gonna give Tisha credit, I do believe Tisha is trying to be a better person and leave all that negativity alone. I believe that. So they headed out to go and do that. The guys are on one bus, the girls are on another bus. So on the bus with the guys, the guys are just trying to talk to Martel and prep him like, hey, you know, Melanie's here. How y'all getting along? Are y'all gonna be able to be together and you know, no no issues or anything like that? Because there's gonna be situations that you don't agree with what she doing or, or hear what she talking about or this or that or whatever. And he all like, I'm cool with it, blah, blah, blah. Which we gonna see, we gonna see. later on, you see that that was not true, <laughs> okay. And the girls on their bus laughing and talking and you know, and Mel telling about their video, her video and they wanna see it. That would have been the time for Melanie to show the girls the video, but that didn't happen. Okay, so they they ride, you know, and they you know they all get there and everything, and they on the slingshots. And right when they was getting ready to get on the slingshot, and that guy that was giving out the rules for the slingshot, oh my God, I would have, whoo, that was a lot. I don't even know if they remember half of the stuff that he was saying because he just went on and on and on. So right when they get ready to take do their slingshot ride, Destiny gets Destiny comes and stuff. And Destiny looks her baby. He is so handsome. Law. They had showed a little clipping of him, a little preview before she went to Atlanta when Des when um Melanie had went over to her house and the baby was there and they showed because they don't they haven't been really showing too much of her baby and I I can understand her not putting him out there too much but he's very handsome little, little dude very handsome baby. So they do the little slingshots and they ride in the city and all this and that. And then they get to um, where they, cause they like roll, like sing like for hours cause it was daytime when they started. And when they got to where they stopped to look back and watch the city, the lights of, of Vegas, it was evening, like dust evening. So they're, they get, they pull over to do that, you know, to just, you know, look back at the lights and look at the beauty city, beautiful city and all that. And uh, so Mel was like, you know, with Martel, hey, let's have a, a conversation. You know, she was gonna tell him about the apology she had made to her friend about some stuff he had put on social media. Y'all, social media is can be so messy, but she was trying to explain that to him and tell him why she apologized. And he went to the left immediately. He was, he, Martel is not, now this, like I said, these episodes are like eight, eight to 12 months behind. He may be in a different state now, but Martel on these episodes, he is not ready to be around Mel and keep it positive because anything she says, he just snaps off. He can't handle it. I think he is jealous of her. He's not where he wants to be. 
So that conversation went to the left, all the way to the left. They was having that conversation. And then after that, didn't go right. And he started going off and stuff. She was like, well, why are you always talking about Beyonce and calling me Beyonce? And he going to say to her that she's the reason why they got married. Because she was walking around singing that song like two years ago before she, before they, when they were still together. Before they even, even thought about getting a divorce, she was already singing that song and had her kids singing that song. And he knows the song Telltale is about him. But come on, Martel, you know, come on now. People write music according to their life experience. And that's just what it is. They've been doing that for years. And if that song make you feel some kind of way, then you that's on you. That is on you. That ain't got nothing to do with Mel. She wrote from her heart how she felt about a situation that she was going through. And even if she was singing it in her mind, uh, two years ago, three years ago, or whatever, she was going through that situation with you. So don't be feeling some kind of way because you feel you feel around guilty talking about this song. It's about you because, hey, it is what it is. But even if it's about you, it, it's doing good out there. <laughs> it is doing good. And a lot of people can relate to what she's saying in her song, okay? But that just went all to the left. And when he said that part about you, the, you, 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 you the reason why we divorced, you was already setting us up for a divorce. Man, you leave, leave that alone. You just throwing dabs now. You just just pulling out the air. You just pulling out stuff to try to make yourself look good. Just leave that alone, you know. But the guys was, you know, they was trying to support him, and the girl, the girls was trying to support Mel, and they was telling Martell like, look, man, this is what we were just talking to you about on the bus, man. You're not, you need, you need to calm down. You're not handling this right. He definitely just like just blow up instantly. Just go to the left instantly because Mel started the conversation off really nice and you know and polite and everything. And it just went to the left and she was asking him where the kids was. And he was like, well, they were with my mom. And he was like, oh, I thought your mom had to work. And he was like, no, you know, my mom got him. So she was like, that's what's up. That's what's up with that. You know, I'm cool with that. But it just went to the left. So they, they going back and forth and screaming and hollering at each other and all that. And <laughs> Mel was like, oh, okay, okay. You want to see the video? So she pulled the video out and started trying to show it to the ladies and show it to everybody. And Martell over here acting like a little old spoiled child. Don't look at that in the video. Don't look at it. Kimmy, don't look at it. Kimmy, don't look at it. I was like, oh my God. You know, in which that was the wrong time for Mel to pull the video out because she was just turning the knife and, you know, it wasn't the right time because she knew that was going to piss him off even more. But I could understand she, that was, you know, when you, when you out there throwing and you, you're going at it, you, you're going to use what you think is going to hurt that person worse than what they're doing to try to hurt you. So that's all she was trying to do because Mel, you know, Martell was already, you know, throwing at her, oh, basically trying to say she, she who she thinks she is, Beyonce or this or that or whatever. And, you know, comparing her to Beyonce is a good thing, you know, because we all know the Beyonce is a queen, you know. So, you know, they went back and forth. And I know on the next coming up episode, because Melanie ended up leaving. I think she left Destiny there too. And Destiny had to ride back with Martell. But next week, I think it's going to pop off a little bit with the ladies. Because I did hear uh, Destiny tell Tiffany she would drag her from city to city. So, that's going to be kind of, mm, that's going to be something else next week and stuff. And I know the, the ladies are going to go do their things and the guys are going to go do their things. And Kimmy did have a side talk with uh, Maurice telling him, well, hey, you know, I know that y'all are going to be together tomorrow and when y'all doing y'all thing. Hey, can you just kind of keep an eye on your brother? Because sometimes he can get out of hand and I know these ladies out here be out here trying to trying to grab somebody and all this and that. You know, she was saying it in a joking way, but I think Tisha is really trying to work on their marriage. Well, at this point, you know, 15 years plus, she should be able to trust him and know he's not going to do anything crazy. But he has been saying what happens in Vegas, stay in Vegas. So, you know, and Maurice was like, he, he appreciated her coming to him, having that side conversation and want him to help if any kind of way with their marriage that Marcel don't do anything stupid. At first, when I was hearing their conversation, I'm like, come on, Tisha, man, you should be able to trust this man. You come to my 15 plus years. But then I understood what she was saying when, when he was talking. I was like, well, okay, she just want to make sure that, you know, he doesn't do anything stupid. You know, but mans are going to be mans and they're going to do what they do. It doesn't matter if it's his brother there with him or who's there with him. If he has in his heart to not do anything stupid, this is a grown, grown man. And he know he's been married for 15 years then he's not going to do anything stupid. But then, you know, like I said, people going to be people, whether, whether it's a guy or a female. They're going to be who they are, okay? 
But that's what it's going to be next week, guys. So y'all got to make sure y'all tune in, okay? Love and Marriage Huntsville. All right, about to get up out of here. But before I go, hey, go ahead on down there, right on down at the bottom of your screen. Give Grana some love. First time checking out Kitchen Talk with Grana, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Become one of my followers, okay? If you're going to be out and about, guys, wear your mask. If you choose to, it's your business. If you don't, be safe, okay? You guys have a great day. I'm going to check you out next time around. Thank you.